is this love that's on your mind has been revolving and running through your mind for years. This is an old flame, an old flame that keeps coming back up into the picture. It didn't end well. And you're focused on what you could have done to make it better, what you could change about yourself to make yourself a better person. And in some ways, it's very powerful to have this thought process. But it's also really important that you stay in control of where this love leads you. So there's something about you that is constant and ever present, but it's also a thing that you are determined to change. I feel like it's so close to you that it gives you something to feed on, something to dwell on, almost like you're digging a hole. Your thoughts are so focused on the self that there's almost no self left you're dying to the self dying to the self so it's a process it's a path that some people take and it seems like this is where you're headed it's noble it's just really important that you Understand that at some point you're going to reach the bottom and you're going to have to start to build from there. So make sure, make sure that you put this devil under your feet. Whatever started you going in this direction, going downward, keep it down there. So essentially you're planting a seed, all right, and we want good fruit here. So make sure your wishes are positive. You know, with the Sorceress card, this is very true to magic. So you want to focus on good things that you want rather than... uh retribution or retaliation or things like along those lines even if it's just fun or entertaining keeps you busy it's just not as productive as you know building your wealth and moving into a better situation for yourself because this is all about you queen of wands how do you know your person is the one This is something you've been sleeping on. Is this really the person for you? Or is it just someone who keeps you busy? Someone you're madly in love with? It's something to think about. Or is it just something that you can use to control your emotions? Because... It seems like you have a lot of energy around your beauty and really anything that enables you to reach that state. So it's not really about one specific person and you're able to cut these people off as soon as they put you in a bad mood and make you feel uneasy. But it's definitely more than one person here. Ultimately, the goal is you being able to get to the bottom of the situation. But the situation in reality is your thought process. So just know that this is not a bottomless pit. You do reach rock bottom at some point. If that's where you're headed, 
But if you think of things in a very positive light, then you are going to reach good fertile soil and then you plant your seed, your manifestations, and you begin to move upward. You move forward. Your thoughts become more enlightened. Your path doesn't end. It's just the beginning of your journey. So you have a lot of choices here. This is just five in this blue temple card. Some wishes on your list that you'll be checking off soon. When you realize that you can branch out, your thoughts don't need to be so narrow-minded. Initially, you are very one-track minded, but at some point you're going to reach your destination. You're going to have what you're working towards. This new love is much more than a single person. It's much deeper than that. So these are some questions that you're going to have to sort and untangle for the next couple of seasons is really what do you want in life? Because it's coming up is it's, at some point you're going to you're going to be asked what what do you want? And it looks like love. is more of a self-love here. 